Hi, this is Kit Welchlin and welcome to Welchlin.com. Today's video blog is on listening. The question is, are you a time-oriented listener? Kit, I hate wasting time. I watch the clock, not to see how long it is until we go to lunch or when I get to go home, just because we burn a lot of daylight around here sitting in meetings. I only have so much time to get my work done. Don't other people have a watch or pay attention to time? If time is consistently a concern, you may be a time-oriented listener. Here are a few questions to consider. Are you most concerned with efficiency? Do you view time as a scarce resource and a valuable commodity? Do you grow impatient when you view others as wasting time? Do you find yourself more concerned with deadlines and other pressures that demand fast action? If so, you may be a time-oriented listener. There are many benefits to having a time-oriented listener on your team. They help people on the team focus on time-sensitive issues and activities. They provide motivation during meetings to finish agenda items. However, if you are always a time-oriented listener, there can be a few drawbacks. Your time orientation can put off others when it seems you disregard their feelings. It may not allow for full discussion of symptoms and perspectives in identifying problems and needs. This excessive focus on time can hamper the thoughtful deliberation of some of the jobs that require that. When the clock is what matters most, become a model for time orientation. Keep in mind, you can boost your effectiveness by assessing the listening preferences of your conversational partners and adapting your style to them. I'm glad this conversation only took a couple of minutes. I don't get paid to sit around here chatting with you all day. Oh wait, uh, I, didn't hear, I didn't hurt your feelings, did I? <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I guess I really could be a time-oriented listener. Thank you for watching this video blog on listening. So the question was, are you a time-oriented listener? Sometimes there are hard deadlines that must be met. Sometimes we need to be the person that watches the clock. Whichever style you use, it's important to recognize that you can control the way you listen and use the style that best suits the situation at hand. If your organization is suffering with miscommunication, contact me at kid at welchland.com and I will provide a fun, engaging, and informative presentation on effective listening skills. Check back to welchland.com every Monday for a new video blog.